what is the gospel? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the gospel is uh, God, like allowing His Son to come down on Earth, Jesus, and live and show us how it is that we should live as well, and then die for our sins, everyone's sins, no matter what. Uh, if you're male, female, race, like anything whatsoever, no matter if you go to church or not, He died for your sins, and that is the good news. Yeah. He did His job, and it's our turn to do ours spread it. Yeah. Okay, so you all had said a couple of things that were good, but it wasn't actually the whole gospel. So let's let's take some time here, okay? Okay. Yeah. okay? Uh, I'm going to give us a framework to work in. God, then sin, then Jesus, and then what do people have to do once they know about Jesus, okay? So we're going to hit on yeah, those yeah, four yeah. together. Okay. So let's start with God. Mm -hmm. Tell me about God. What is he like? What do we need to know about God? Our Father, our you know, provider. Yeah. He protector, created everything. Leader. Okay. Would you say that he's holy? Yes. yes. Tell me about that. What's yes. holy? Higher, higher than yeah. us. Okay. Wholehearted, um, just, I don't know. Limitless. I think of it in a way as whenever I think of like, a lot of people say it, but like my plans are what I think is going to happen. It's very, like, we're limited to like a human race. Yeah. Like our minds can only think so far and God, I believe is just limitless. limitless. Yeah. I like that. I use the word transcendent sometimes okay. because it's he's beyond anything we can imagine. He's yes. beyond yes. every category. Yeah. Yeah. Same concept. Yes. It's good. Yeah. Now, in God's holiness, he made a standard for how we're supposed to live. So now we're going to talk about mankind and sin. We're going okay. to that next part. What is God's standard for us? How should we live? Yeah. Um, Love, love God, love others. His yeah. two, his two. Uh, Live for Him and, yeah. and and through Him. Right. Yeah. How do you think we do? How do, you, how do we do that? No. How do you how, think we oh, do? Do we, do we, we do? actually live that way? So I would say we don't. We probably don't do as great. We definitely don't live yeah. up to the standards. Yeah. Yeah. We fall short every single day. There's yeah. a verse about that. Do you know it? Yeah. You just quoted the Bible. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know I, 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 I don't. <laughs> all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So all of us fail to meet God's holy standard. We are not perfect image bearers like we should be. Yeah. If God gave all of us perfect justice for all the sins that we commit in our life, what do we deserve? Heaven or hell? <laughs> You're getting oh, wow. deep. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Not to be dark, but I would say it, hell. Yeah. We don't deserve yeah. heaven. Yeah. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, because if you're honest with yourself, yeah. you'd be like, yeah, I actually don't deserve You're so heaven. undeserving of that. Yeah. That hits different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've actually never See. thought about that. Yeah. yeah. In Romans 5.8, it says that God demonstrates his own love in this, that while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Yeah. You see, that's part of how we understand the magnitude of the love of Christ is when we realize, by contrast, how undeserving we are. Or in other words, how much we deserve his hatred, mm -hmm. not yeah. his love. He still did what he did. Okay, so with that in place, let's go on to the third part, the good okay. news. Yeah. What did God do to save sinners? Jesus died for our sins, um, and then he left his disciples to also start spreading his word as well. And then... Uh, third day, I mean, <laughs> Jesus rose, right? Um, and then he spent time with his um, disciples. And then whenever he ascended into heaven, he left his Holy Spirit as a gift for us um, so that we can live with the authority uh, to, to speak and cast away evil, um, to say no to sin. Um, so he left us with that authority. He didn't just like leave us alone. Yeah. So two things I want to clarify with Jesus. The first is the significance of him being God the Son who came and lived the perfect life. Yes. Okay. So he demonstrated who he is, namely God the Son, by living righteously. Mm -hmm. He never sinned, not even once. And then he demonstrated that further by doing signs and wonders. He would yeah. heal people. Yeah. He would raise people from the dead. Mm -hmm. He did all these different things to demonstrate who he is. And as such, he didn't deserve to die. but he chose to die on the cross. And by going to the cross and dying on the cross, he was satisfying the wrath of God that we deserve because of our sins. Or to put it figuratively, when we sin, we deserve the death penalty. And so Jesus went to the cross and paid the death, the death penalty, penalty for us. For us. You see? Now after that, he was buried and resurrected on the third day, as you mentioned. 
Now, when he ascended, though, he left a command for how to receive his sacrifice for yourself. How can you or anybody receive the sacrifice of Jesus for yourself? What does it really mean to repent? Mm. What does it really mean to put your faith in him? What do you think? Like you said, like, you know, accepting all of the wrong that you've done and, and giving it all to God. And I mean, I think it's just as simple as that. Yeah. I think of like the word repent as physically like yeah. your sin is right here, repent. Yes. Turn, turn away from it. Give it to him, turn away from yeah. it. And believe that he, he is good and you've been forgiven. Receive the forgiveness that he died on the cross for you. Yeah. For. That's well said. So that's the way that I would encourage you all to present the gospel. Do you have any questions for us before we start to wrap up? I've never been taught how to share the gospel actually. So oh, this exciting. is actually a good uh, step yeah. process. It's really amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Again, God, sin, Jesus, and then repentance and faith. It's mm. that simple. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, Enjoy. Yeah. Yes. Nice to see you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys so yeah. much. Yeah. Be well. God bless.